for the drive. Welcome to the house of Kai. Today I will be doing an oracle read, um, medicine of our day. So if you're not already a subscriber to the channel, please like, share, and subscribe. And if you already have, thank you. I have really enjoyed doing these readings. Uh, so much, in fact, I went back and listened to a reading the other day. You know, as I read them, I'm getting information and downloads of like how it corresponds to my own personal experiences and how I can feel it's going on around as well. Yet, um, I re-listened to one of my own readings the other day and layers and layers of information, medicine, code came through for me as well. So. It was a really nice gift to have that knowing that that the information is coming through that is meant to come through. Yeah, you know, I can sometimes feel like I'm ranting, you know, um, with so much to be said or just in the download itself. So during that process, I just, you don't always know what you're speaking about, you know? I'm just letting the, the story tell, the story tell me what it's meant to tell, and the information come through. And so having the experience of listening to one of my own readings and hearing all that I had spoken of was just exciting. It was exciting um, that uh, the message is being spoken appropriately. Yeah. So again, if there's anything I can share with you, if you have questions, please, comments. I'd love to know more, um, <clears throat> excuse me, and yeah, let's see where we are at, let's see where we are at. We just had an amazing eclipse, or actually, um, yeah, we're coming out of the eclipse. Ooh, child, I'll tell you what, that was a busy, busy day, energetically. Yeah. Ooh. So, as I cut the deck, ex, her name is Ixchel, Ixchel, Medicine of the Rainbow Jaguar. Look at that. You know, I as well, being in this place of channeling of energy and moving through, being present with the grid of my energetic body is just so important right now. And I speak about it often, of how we need to keep purifying our waters and purifying our waters. Every single day we are taking in contaminants. Um, and so if you want to look at it from the simplest of platforms, that every moment of every day we are taking in contaminants as well as vibrational contaminants, not just like processed foods or pollutions in the air. We're always taking in some level of like a distorted energy. It's just, it's here. It's how it exists here. And <clears throat> as we come into our systems and purify them through nutritional um, ways of uh, detox, um, or bringing in high nutritional dense foods, as well as, you know, shaking, toning, breathing. Um, but however, it's, it's a focused, it is a focused uh, presence with your breath. It's not a, a breath that you do in a workout, um, even though it might feel like you're working out. It is not that kind of a breath. It is a conscious breathing pattern where you bring full attention to how the breath moves through your being. Right? Very, very powerful. And this is speaking of that to me right now, that the channels of energy, the fire of the heart, right? Keeping our channels clear, moving forward, right? Uh, the number 13 is symbolic of the feminine. Um, there are 13 moon cycles in a year, and so we refer to the 13 as that of the goddess of the moon. 
Mm. Very powerful energy, the moon. It deals with the emotions, which in itself can have a lot of distortion. And I love this. I love that I'm bringing that up because here we go. The next card that was given to me is Lolo, which is standing in the light. Look at this. That's the moon. You know, the moon is a reflection of the emotions. And when we do not know how to understand our emotions or if the waters within us are, um, if there's discord or impurities within our being, then it can really add to the emotional body. It can truly um, limit us. And so, sitting in the uncomfortable energy and allowing ourselves to purify our channels um, it is okay to not be okay it is okay to not be okay I personally have not always liked that, right? Being in that not okay place makes us feel like running or covering it up with something or as I like to say, like ripping my flesh off, right? I'm a little extremist, but it's a very uncomfortable vibration that moves through my cells. And having that deep emotional pain, I, oh, I just want to get it off of me. I can feel it in layers on my being. And so the purification of the waters, you know, truly, excuse me, excuse me, standing in our light, <clears throat> purifying our waters, right? The rebirthing you know, during this, this beautiful eclipse we just had. Wow. And purification of those waters. Pretty powerful. Pretty powerful time right now. So, <clears throat> excuse me. <coughs> excuse me. Um, I have spoken of how we can purify our being. Um, I am an avid fan of ginger. And ginger is one of the best purifications for our body. Um, and you can, you know, chomp on raw ginger, make ginger tea. If you're going to get a ginger tea, I recommend raw ginger over actual tea bags. But tea bags aren't bad. They're not bad. Um, dehydrated ginger is quite fantastic. Uh, sometimes I'll chomp on that, um, as well as, like I said, the raw ginger. Yes, you can do the sugar ginger, yet sugar ginger really, I mean, the whole purpose of ginger is getting out excessive mucus and purifying the system. Um, adding sugar to that kind of cancels out the two, actually, in my opinion. Um, not saying it's, you know, the worst thing you can do. It's pretty decent actually in the, in the in the form of candy um yet if you could do more of a raw that would be far better for your body than would be anything else anything else <sighs> so coming into our next cards inviting healing to all those beings experiencing uncomfortableness or discord, right? Any fear, deep emotional pain, <clears throat> excuse me, right? I think there are so many of us who are waking up um, or have been woken for a long time that uh, and you know, I have to be honest with you, the more awake you are, the more the more you're really on the front line and you're going through experiences on a daily moment to moment basis. It's just the way it works. Uh, there are people who 
are just coming into this wake up and are having more of these like waves of energy hit them over and over again. Um, those of us who've been doing this journey work for a while, uh, it has been consistent. It has been consistent. Um, you know, I can honestly say for the last few years, there's not a day that goes by that I'm not doing some level of work uh, as far as purification of the waters or conscious um, attention to being or energy of a space or doing healing work. Uh, and I mean, I've been doing this for a long time, uh, however, since professionally for almost 20 years now. So, very blessed to even be able to say that. I, that's a long commitment, I'll tell you what. But <laughs> there is um, there is no greater reward, in my opinion, than to assist other people in their progressions of healing and self-love. Like, there is no greater reward ever, ever. Yeah. Good. Oof. So this next card is called Absence. I'm noticing the moon in this, like a wild horse moving through the heart. There's like a deep pain yet. Just this knowing is a more of a contemplation than it is even sadness in this card. Um, hmm. So, huh. Whew. So I'm inviting the question of how this works in with our story today. And as we shed layers stepping into our tribe, there are others that are not necessarily joining us. And that's extremely painful. Um, and let me offer this to you that they may not appear to be joining us right now. However, they are very much on their way. Just might take them a little bit longer than others. So some of us, as I said, are, have been doing this work for a while and have been consistent. Other people have only really started and they're not as far along. And it's okay that they're not as far along. Um, however, it hurts. You know, it could be a loved one, a family member, a friend. Those that were incapable of stepping in to the full light, the lolo, right? As they said, you know, being working within our light energy here those that had struggled to stand in their personal light, right? Accepting the, the, the moon, accepting the emotions, that is standing in your light. You know, the light is the reflection of the sun. I mean, the moon is the reflection of the sun and all those emotions being experienced in the reflection of that moon must be dealt with. They, they must be met. And is the absence something that is we're absent from ourselves, right? Are we being absent from our own selves? Are we abandoning our own personal selves? Or are we feeling the absence of others? I invite you to sit and feel the pain and wonder Am I abandoning me? Or have these others abandoned the journey? Accepting. You know, I could even say forgiveness, yet sometimes that's there's so many layers to that word, right? It's not just about forgiving the person, the situation. God, self is primary, right? That's the primary forgiveness is forgiving oneself. 
yet how about we move right through forgiveness and just simply accept right and allowing myself to truly forgive as I go instead of getting locked in a feeling of forgiveness can I accept free will Everyone has free will. Everyone. Can you accept the free will of others and that they too will stand in their light, in their own time, in their own way? Um, there are many ways of doing this, you know. Um, it can be harsh, it can be gentle. There are many ways of standing within our own light. You know, I'm feeling here, I went and I, I pulled another card and they're showing me this card. Reaction. Extremely painful as this being holds the lotus flower. Right. Coming into the storyline here that if there is an absence, then this, these beings are feeling the loss as well. We are feeling the loss. It's okay. Can we shine love in all the places that we hold pain? so many beings that I know I have personally shed on my journey. Some will step back into my life. Right? It was just a moment in time that we needed to pause or they had ascended faster than I did, or I ascended faster than they did, whatever that is, that there was a moment in time, right? So I may never, or will ever speak to again. Not because I give them permission, but because I choose that they are unworthy of that permission, that they have served in a way that no longer allows, allows me to feel um, yeah any way I choose is really what it comes down to you know, a list of different emotions ran through my mind and my heart at that moment of you know, different storylines, different old friends, you know, friends of 20 years that I miss, that I'd love to see them again. However, the, the way in which um, things transitioned, you know, it's, accept, uh, accept. So we are very much moving forward, um, as always, just saying, always moving forward always moving forward. So as we move forward um, with this beautiful jaguar tribe, oh how I love me the jaguar. So as we move forward in the jaguar tribe within our light, um, allowing ourselves, you know, and, and if we deny, if we deny the pain or the emotional experiences, then we're not clearing the waters. We're not keeping ourselves purified. So continuing to allow yourself to be present with how you feel. That's just how it works. So having an emotion, having an experience, and then, you know, asking yourself, what is this? 
uh, I had an experience in public the other day that I literally was, uh, it was like this dense weight came across me and I just stopped doing what I was doing and I dropped inside and I, I simply just asked myself, I said, what is this? What is this feeling that I'm experiencing right now? Because it was not in my reality as of five seconds ago, 10 seconds ago. Something has changed in my reality because my body, the most important part of my being, it's, like a, it's that which holds my soul, right? My body is telling me in, uh, through energetic shifts that there's something going on here that I need to know about. And so instead of engaging with people I was engaging with or whatever the situation took place, I dropped in and asked, what is this? And then I allowed myself to be present with exactly what it was. Even if I couldn't fully identify it, I allowed myself to identify the feeling. What does this feel like? Okay, first it's, you know, fear. And then, okay, what is this fear rooted in? This fear is rooted in, um, you know, well, whatever, whatever it could be, you know, not being accepted or uh, not being enough or being abandoned or whatever that feeling is rooted in, regardless if you have something to attach it to. That is key. So how you do this work is it's not about if you have something to attach to the, the feeling. Don't worry about that. That's, that's the illusion. You don't need something to attach the feeling to. You simply need to experience the feeling and then let it move through you. Because sometimes that which you're feeling is also part of your environment. It may have nothing to do with you. And all you're doing is an experiencing and a feeling that the environment around you strum up inside of you, okay? So uh, you could be anywhere and there could be an argument somewhere close by that you had no idea there was an argument going on, but the energy of the people and you yourself, everything shifts, right? You might not be close enough to where the argument is happening to know there's an argument happening, but you can feel, you would, you don't put attention to it, but people, you're feeling discord, right? It's happening all the time. It's happening all the time, but we go about our day and think nothing of it or over, you know, it's so funny, here I am about to look for my phone and be like, you know, a phone, right? Like, well, that's what we do, right? We go on a phone and we, we start uh, disconnecting from people, right? I don't need to ex experience this emotion. I can go and know, you know, numb myself out by doing something else or drinking a drink or smoking a smoke or doing any of those kinds of things. So there's always a way of us not being fully present with what is. The greatest gift we can give ourselves is being present and dropping in. Okay. And so as, as this, this portal shifts, I mean, we're stepping into the grand conjunction, the grand, I think it's called the grand conjunction. So it's on 1221. We're stepping into this. We just moved through a portal uh, in the last 24 hours and we will be moving through even a bigger one coming up. Um, and so as we do, it's accepting that <sighs> nothing really has changed other than our ability to expand love. If nothing else, simplify it that you have more ability to expand the love that you are. Allow it to happen. Allow it to happen. So now I'm just dropping in, looking at the Ganusha cards. Yes, the Ganusha. And, oh, divine support. We are supported. Yes, oh yes, we are. You see, I see. Om symbol. I 
get that. They say Om is the vibration of the earth. at peace, surrendering that all is taken care of, that we are loved, and nothing in life is a final decision of anything, nothing, you know, that all these beings, regardless if they know it or not, they're all going home, they're all stepping back into the light, whether they want to or not. It's really how that goes. If you were created from light, you go back to light. Just kind of simply how it goes. Basic physics. So all this push-pull and people not wanting to, excuse me, uh, people not wanting to um, you know, surrender to divinity, surrender to the light. Um, that's all going to change because they don't really have a choice. You know, you're of the light. You know, so if you're feeling a whole bunch of resistance from people around you, you know that they're frustrated. Right? They're trying to use their free will, which they have. They have. They just lessen their options and choices in life, right? That's all it is. So... Um, we all have free will, um, and there's a penalty sometimes, purgatory, I call it. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. And so um, I'm being guided to pick a secondary card, and it's innocence. And so, you know, I know for myself that's exactly what I've been working on is just, just being silly. Just being gentle, allowing myself to show up in a way that brings me a vibration of internal joy randomly throughout my day. Right? I'd love to say moment to moment. <laughs> what are we all? What are we all? Yet, um, randomly throughout my day. <sighs> yeah. So, supported and moving forward. Big time. Big time. You know, just seeing some of these, oof. Such an interesting uh, deck of cards being pulled here. So there's, you know, very powerful moving forward into the light with the Jaguar energy. And then as we do this feeling of absence and loss, right? So we have like this beautiful colors and light. And then all of a sudden we have just this like feeling of loss and pain. Yeah. Everything is going to have that. Right? And we're seeing it in all of these things around us, people's reactions and responses that are so emotional. Yet, and it's telling us simply just we it's all taken care of. already taken care of. Just go have fun and play. Go have fun and play. I would say that those that are not willing to show up and play were those that, um, whoop, hold on, drop some cards here. Those that um, were not willing to, uh, who are not willing to just simply play, authentically play, um, maybe have not done the work around the father's energy, right? I think of the father as like the disciplinarian. Um, and so 
if we have a problem with playing, then there's something inside of us that um, doesn't necessarily feel worthy of it. So it's like that healthy level of discipline that we are um, safe enough to play, we are, uh, we have permission to play. Permission is like the biggest thing in the world, let me tell you, permission, not having permission to do something is like the most, like, and you don't even know you're doing it. I think that's the piece, is like we don't even know we don't, we're, we're playing in a place of like, oh, I, I can't do that because I don't have permission. But you do have permission, you just haven't given it to yourself, right? So. I often, excuse me, um, people laugh at me. I do weird things in public. I don't care. I, I give myself permission to be present with what I need when I need it to the best of my ability. I can't guarantee I do it all the time. However, you know, giving myself permission that if I need to grunt or groan or sigh or stretch or do something, I'm giving myself permission to do it in public whenever I need to, like an animal would, right? So. A lot of people won't, won't even come close to doing that. People have a problem even opening their mouths to breathe or to make a sound from their mouth or to do just about anything. People just have like this fear of, you know, having to behave and act in a certain way uh, as if they were going to be perceived some way outside of who they are. Who cares? Who cares? If you are rooted in the light, in love, and are purifying your waters, then you yourself and you yourself are doing it from a place of love. And there, and if there's something that has been done that you harmed someone, well, then you apologize. Then you, you do something different. You acknowledge that you behaved in a specific way or spoke in a manner that did not serve other human beings or yourself. And take accountability. That's it. It's that easy. It is that easy to take accountability for who and what we are and clear our waters, come back into our natural light, right? And it's going to have to happen, as I said, regularly. Regularly. Yeah. Let's see. Ooh, I love it. The gift. You can see that. Do you see that? Oh my goodness. Is that an owl? It is. It's an wow. Wow. I see this image of all of these elders with their hands wide open offering the gift, the jewel. Beautiful, beautiful. You know, if there is a feeling of pain of loss through this, know that there are many, many gifts coming our way. Truly, allow ourselves to step into that. And so, you know, the next card, and I have to show it, is surrender. Right? Surrender to the path. Allow each step taken to be taken in joy. Simple. Happy. Clearing the channels of energy in present moment. So, <sighs> shaking is really that keeps coming up for me right now. Is that we need to shake more. We need to, you know, we need to dance more. You want to keep innocence. We should be dancing more. Um, and sometimes when we play music, it can really trigger uh, 
uh, emotional stuff. I know I'm one of them. I'll, I'll, you know, take myself on an emotional journey through music, which is amazing. Uh, however, sometimes I don't like listening to music because it can take me on such an emotional journey. So pick something that might not do that, it, or if it does take an emotional journey, just simply fun. Like some stuff from like the 50s and 60s, you know what I mean? Like things that you can just dance and play in, um, old school rock and roll and just dance and play. Allow yourself to shake it up. Um, sometimes it's better to not to have music that has no words. Sometimes it's better to have music that only has like, again, like really simple, no real storyline kind of words, you know? Uh, shake and breathe. Be present with how you feel and where you feel it, right? where I feel energy or discord in my body. You know, breathe, allow your mind to go into yourself and see where you feel pressure or discomfort or a density and allow yourself to stay there and be present with it and breathe and ask the questions of how can I get this to leave me? How does this, how do I surrender this? What is it that I need at this moment in time in order to let this go? And I have to close with the next card after surrender, which just because it, it just matched up so well as Ascended Masters. Right? Moving through these portals and coming into the time of the Ascension of the Ascended Masters, the gift, right? The owl and the owl. This is just absolutely fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. <laughs> wow. Powerful. Powerful, powerful read. Um, yeah. So I thank you for sharing time with me today. And I look forward to sharing time again with you tomorrow. I love you. Peace out, tribe.